Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand, Warren County Extension Agent for Horticulture. Good morning, Kristen. Good morning, Joanna. Now, Kristen, you always have a knack for beautiful things and this is gorgeous. I love it But so I'm not much. very familiar with it. What is this? Yes, so this is a flower and it's called hellebore. So this uh, particular flower is in the ranunculus family. And so a lot of people might have never seen it before, but this is a flower that's a perennial, so it means it's gonna come back year after year after year. And a lot of people like to plant it in their garden or landscape. The interesting thing about this particular Helleborus is that it is blooming right now. So it blooms like in like the late winter to early spring, and most generally with our perennial flowers, we don't have anything right now that's blooming. So this is really unique um, for that aspect. Uh, another good um, benefit with Helleborus is that it's drought resistant after it gets established in the ground and that it also is not damaged by deer or rabbits. Oh, it's, a, it's the perfect plant. Perfect plant. <laughs> and I know you picked this for our extension office. This is actually growing out back mm -hmm. um, by, by the extension office and it sure did. And, but the thing about that I'm amazed is how long the blooms have lasted because this was pretty a month ago. Yes, yes. So what's interesting about this particular plant is that these petals, what we would normally call the petals, those are actually called sepals, which is a modified calyx. And so it's got five sepals to it around the outside. And then in the inside, that's your true actual flower or your petal that contains nectaries. And so with that, it's got the stamen and the pistil there. Well, after a little bit of time, it's gonna fall off, but then left behind is the sepals, and it's gonna keep for like one to two months, maybe possibly two to three months. So it's a perennial, we'll come back every year. It's yes. gonna stay pretty for a long time and give me a pop of color early mm -hmm. in the year. That's yes. awesome. Yes. And But you know, people right now are at home a little bit more, and they're thinking about how to add color to their landscape or maybe do some things in the yard. Mm -hmm. this might be a plant to look to. Yes, it's very unique, like you were saying. Like this one's a nice dark purple uh, tinge to it. There's also some varieties that have been hybridized, so they have maybe some white blooms. You can even find, like this is a single type one, what we have here, but mm -hmm. you can also find some that are doubled. Some might even be speckled. Um, there's just a lot of interesting characteristics with it, but even with the foliage here, it's leathery. It's got a little bit of some interest there. And so most of the time it's in an umbrella type shape. So it's really, really unique too. And the green foliage is gonna stay there even after the blooms do fall off. So it's always gonna do well in shady type areas too, Joanna. Okay. So really part shade to full shade. And if you've got an area on a hillside or slope, those are generally the areas that look the best because eventually the actual blooms will go more downward. So if you, it just looks a little bit prettier. If you're kind of going down a slope, you can actually see it a little bit better. Yeah, so, you know, and sometimes people have trouble finding something to grow in part shade. Yes. So this is an excellent option. Yes. Now you had another word for this, and maybe a more layman term for this flower. Yeah, so uh, a more common name for this is called Winton Rose. And so um, a, lot, a lot of times people will call it that. Um, that's the more common name. But uh, Helleborus is actually the genus part. And so that's what I like to call it is Helleborus. And so every time I think of that, I think of heavenly Helleborus mm -hmm. because it's just so heavenly um, and it blooms usually around Lent. So that's usually, oh, okay. you know, that's an interesting fact about it too. This is gonna form a clump. So it's gonna get about 18 inches, 12 to 18 inches tall, depending on your environment. Um, you don't have to uh, divide it out. So there's another benefit to it. You don't have to divide it like you do some of your other perennials. And uh, it's gonna seed itself. So you can actually have newer clumps forming uh, at the base. So if you wanna go ahead and transplant that somewhere else, that might be another way to attain more of this in your garden or landscape. Share it with a friend. Kristen, yes. appreciate the information. Now, if you have questions about what to put in your landscape or maybe some of the best plants for Kentucky, make sure to contact your local extension office and we'll be happy to help you find that or send that to you in the mail. Kristen, thanks for bringing this beautiful plant with us today and thank you for watching. Have a great day.